I never really was just a, your run of the mill cab. When I climb in the cab, I'm like a larger than life cartoon character. I'm in my own movie. I've always seen myself as an entertainer, and the taxi was just a venue that I could mold into something to show off John Barnes. Just getting warmed up here. Thank you, hold your applause, thank you. Very kind. Uh, I was the class clown at school. 15% of my class went to Harvard. I came out to Aspen and started skiing every day and making beds and having a great life. Growing up with Batman and the Batmobile on television in the 60s, basically I wanted, you know, a rock and roll souped up car. That's kind of what I built. Okay, here we go. And now with the virtual reality, I have the ability to time travel take people into the future. Most of my clients are families, groups of teenagers that are uh, having a birthday party, but I've had a lot of stars and celebrities in the car. Michael Douglas, Jerry Seinfeld, and Clint Eastwood took a little ride around after I had dropped off a director that was living in the house that he was at. When I was 20, I was out of high school. I was working in New York City at uh, a ski clothing store right across the street from Tiffany's. One day, I said to myself, gee, why am I selling ski clothes in New York? So uh, I ended up moving out to Aspen, worked part-time as a contractor for the cab company. The first night I drove a taxi uh, was Halloween 1983. It was like driving into a movie. Everybody was in costumes, and it was just bizarre. And I realized that driving a taxi in Aspen was more than just a job, it was more like an adventure. And then I decided, well, gee, if it's gonna be an adventure, why don't you be one of the most colorful people in that adventure? I rarely reflect on whether this job was the most financially uh, rewarding path to take. Watch this. Ow. You know, some nights I make a lot more than all the other cabs in town, and some nights I make nothing, and, but I still have more fun at work than everybody else. I hope that uh, in the future, people will, will look back on what I did in the late 20th century and say, wow, you know, things were kind of messed up back then, but that cab was pretty cool. John, you were a master of your craft. Well done, sir. All right, well, thanks. Hey YouTubers, are you looking to land your dream gig or start your own business? Well, you've found the right place. You can learn from fellow entrepreneurs and peers that are embarking on their own journeys. Subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to join CNBC on the journey to make it. We're going to motivate and inspire you, but you'll have to bring the fire.